Well, as the U.S. played their first game in the World Cup, local fans gathered at O'Daly's Irish Pub in downtown Mobile to show their support for the American yeah, team. It was a heck of a game, too. Yes, a lot of excitement. That's where we find local 15's Andrea Ramey tonight. Andrea, they're uh, quite a rowdy crowd at O'Daly's, and for good reason. Yeah, it was packed here earlier tonight, Greg. In fact, the owner of O'Daly's uh, had to open up his business next door here, Dolphin Street Blues Company, just to contain the overflow of people tonight. Both of these buildings were packed. Another kind of football craze took hold of Alabamians tonight. <laughs> 45 seconds into the game, USA roared past Ghana to score. Amazing. And the intensity in here was just like, I, I still got chills. A second goal later in the game secured the American victory. USA! 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 A sea of red, white, and blue filled O'Daly's Irish pub. People all decked out, showing their patriotic pride. Well, you go out searching for it. <laughs> we hit Party City this morning, and they had a whole aisle of USA stuff. No, the best thing to do is just to wear it on the back. Is it everybody would enjoy it. And Mobile has another reason to watch. I never really thought about playing for the U.S. until a few years ago. This year, Mobile native Aaron Johansson, who later grew up in Iceland, is a striker on the team. We're excited to see everybody. Owner Matt Lamont says they've been preparing for months for the crowd, but was a little surprised so many showed up. We're all on the same team, so there's no Alabama, Auburn, or anything like that. Everyone's Americans, and we all get to root together. Perhaps he shouldn't be. This time of year, any kind of football is well received. And the owner of O'Daly says he's normally closed on Sundays, but he says he will be open this Sunday for the next USA matchup at 5 o'clock. He says his doors will open at 3. Reporting live in downtown Mobile tonight, Andrea Ramey, Local 15 News. Andrea.